Ginla has hit one empty net in this series. Conroy gets the draw. Ginla's got the puck, rolling it to the net and off the side of the goal. Debris on the ice and 15 seconds left. Ginla has the stick knocked out of his hand. He falls at center. Naslin dashing in. 10 seconds left. Marcus Naslin to the net. Stop. Scores! Scores! Matt Cook cashing in. 5.7 seconds left. And they're still alive. is an empty net, and Marcus Naslund sparks the Canucks. And Gidla gets his stick knocked right out of his hands here. He's calling for a penalty, and then he trips on the stick, so he's in the back check without a stick. He holds down Morrison. How about Marcus Naslund, though? He makes the great play going around, and then somehow, somehow, Matt Cook finds room in the slot. There's Naslund cutting in, and Matt Cook goes right past Robin Regeer. We got overtime. 1954, the time of the goal, and this Western Canadian epic won't end. Another astonishing script. It is absolutely unbelievable. Marcus Naslin, the captain, with his most determined shift of the series creates the tie goal. You know, Chris, to me, it's only fitting. This has been such an incredible series. It really should go into overtime, shouldn't it? And that's gonna be a controversial play right there because the officials just made a similar call on a slash, knocking a player's stick out of his hands. But it doesn't matter. The Vancouver Canucks find a way to tie this hockey game, and Ed Jovanovski can't hardly contain himself because he's all alone in the penalty box. He might have thought it was over after his penalty. There's the Canuck reaction. Cook is third from Naslin and Olin after Jerome Ginlis bid for a hat trick. Misses by that much. The series was over if Aginla hits the empty net. Instead, Brian Burke's team still has some life. Well, if you thought game six was implausible, how about this? Overtime, game seven, just like 89 and 94. Still the empty net down to our right. Morrison and Conroy. Conroy, great job to win the draw. Plays it ahead. Again, the, with an open net. And he missed it just wide. Under 20 seconds remaining. Fans throwing some things on the ice. That's not the smart thing at this point. Again, the falls down, loses the stick. Here's Naslin cutting in. Naslin with the season on the line. Savory, they score! They score! Naslin made it happen, and Matt Cook has tied the game! I don't believe this. If this wasn't real, I'd make it up. In the dying seconds, oh, what a they play. go to the net. Kiprasov has to make the save. Look at the time ticking off. My goodness. Andy Ference sitting in the box. It was four on four. Maybe the extra space helped. I don't know what helped. That lady stopped biting her flag. Good for oh her. Oh my. Good for Vancouver. And guess what? When overtime starts, it'll be four on four for 10 seconds, and then it will be a power play for Calgary. Yes. And maybe that'll be a factor, but Matt Cook, the hero. They do leave the net empty. Conroy gets possession of the puck off the draw, feeds up to Aguila, looking for the hat trick on the backhand. He sends it towards the goal, and he missed as it went off the side of the net. There's a jersey been thrown off the ice now. 
The referee picks it up, and the Canucks are able to move up the ice. Again, fell down. Nazan carries in on the left wing. Goes wide on Leopold. Nazan cutting in front. Backhander stop. Cook scores. Back Cook. He's done it again. Cook ties the game with 5.7 seconds remaining in game seven. Who says prayer does not work? Of course prayer works. This is unbelievable. Jerome Aginla fell down in the neutral zone. And Marcus Naslin, who hasn't skated all that well tonight, took it end to end all the way down. And Matt Cook finishes it off with six seconds remaining in regulation time. And the seventh and deciding game, quite likely now, is going into overtime. And I mentioned there was about 600 people leaving the building, Shorty. They're back now. <laughs> Can you believe this? I told you, divine intervention. What else can you call it? His third of the playoffs. His second of the game. Scored by number 24. 